Okay, so here we have a closed traverse. And we are given the interior angles as well as the bearing angle of AB, which is 30 degrees west of north. And what we want to do first is convert that bearing angle into an azimuth. So how are we going to do that? We're going to draw it in here. That's our 30 degrees. And the azimuth is this angle all the way around here. And so we're just going to do 360 degrees, 0 minutes, minus 30 degrees, 0 minutes, equals 330 degrees, and 0 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to start our calculations here. I am going to use the counterclockwise method to solve for the bearings and azimuths of the traverse. Alright, so our first azimuth is AB, so we'll write that down. Sorry about that. And what we need to find is our back azimuth which is azimuth BA so we're going to subtract 180 degrees 0 minutes to find the azimuth BA okay so 150 degrees in 0 minutes and to find azimuth BC we're just going to add our angle B which up here is 120, 28. This is going to give us azimuth BC, which is 270 degrees and 28 minutes. Okay, so we're going to note that because we need that one later. And now to find the Do I need that? Oh. oh, we need this one. Azimuth EA. So we have all the azimuths, azimuths that we want, and the next step would be to convert it into bearing angles. Bearing north east. Again, azimuth equals bearing in that northeast quadrant. Southeast is just 180 minus the azimuth sorry, equals the bearing south whether north or south is always going to be first so this one is north 89 degrees 32 minutes west that bearing angle is right there okay so the next one we're going to find is the bearing angle of CD west. 209 degrees from this about there it's our line okay and then we're up in southwest quadrant so AZ minus 180. Our AZ for this one is 209 degrees. 
Okay, so now we just gotta fill this in with our numbers. 